welcome to today's class uh, before our call is closed down uh, we have been talking about loop dependency so we will continue uh, will continue our discussion on loop dependency and today we will uh, talk about diophantine equations and gcd test uh, so here we have two loops and we are interested to find out which of these two loops is parallelizable uh, we know that a loop is parallelizable if dependency do not exist. So basically we want to find out in which of these two loops uh, dependency exists. And as we will find out later in today's class, uh, this loop is parallelizable, whereas uh, this loop is not parallelizable. So how do you know uh, whether a loop is parallelizable or not? And as as we will discuss, uh, we can use linear diophantine equations and GCD test uh, to find out whether the loop is parallelizable or not. This is how diophantine equations has been defined in Wikipedia. A diophantine equation is a polynomial equation usually in two or more unknowns, uh, such that only integer solutions are desired. So we are only interested in finding integer solutions to the equation. Here is a form of a linear diophantine equation where we have two variables x, y. Uh, the equation is ax plus by equal to c, where uh, a, b, c are integer numbers. And we have to find out the values of x and y for which this equation will be satisfied. Now, uh, for this loop, uh, we know that a dependence will exist if for two different iterations, uh, 2i and 3i plus 1, they refer to the same element of A. So dependency will exist if we try to access the same element of the array A in two different iterations. And as you can see, uh, i varies from 1 up to n. So I can take up values uh, 1, 2, 3 up to n. And now if for some i equal to x and for some i equal to y, if 2i becomes equal to 3i plus 1 I get, then that is the, then if they are equal then we have a problem. Uh, in other words, when i is equal to x, 2i becomes equal to 2x and when i is equal to y, this becomes 3y plus 198. And when this 2x becomes equal to 3y plus 198, uh, if, if this is equal, then the loop will not be parallelizable. And now this is our diophantine equation, 2x equal to 3y plus 198, which we can rewrite as 2x minus 3y plus, uh, 2x minus 3y equal to 198. And now from this uh, diophantine equation, we can see that a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 3 and c is equal to 198. So now what is a GCD test? A GCD test tells us that if GCD of AB, uh, whatever is the GCD of AB, if that value divides C, then we can say that dependency exists and hence the loop will not be parallelizable. Uh, in this given example, a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 3. So, the CD of a, b is equal to the CD of 2 minus 3. And we know that the greatest common divisor of 2 and minus 3 is 1. And now we are interested whether this 1 divides c. c is 198 and we can easily see that 1 divides 198. Uh, and since 1 divides 198, uh, this uh, dependency exists and this loop is not parallelizable. So the loop is not parallelizable. Uh, what about uh, this loop? Uh, we will use the same technique for this loop, but however, in this loop is a nested loop. We have two index variables i and j. Um, and now, uh, since we have two index variables i and j, we are interested to know if for some value i j equal to w x and for another value i j equal to y z we try to access the same element of A. In other words, for Wx, this becomes 2w plus 2x and for ij equal to yz, and this becomes 
2 y minus 6 z plus 3 and when they are equal then we have a problem and hence our Diophantine equation in this case is equal to 2 w plus 2 z equal to 4 y minus 6 z plus 3 which we can rewrite as 2 w plus 2 g minus 4 y plus 6 z equal to 3 and now for GCD test uh, we have to in that distance find out the GCD of 2 comma 2 comma minus 4 and 6 and as we can see that the GCD of 2, 2, 4, minus 4 and 6 is equal to 2 and now we have to find out whether this well GCD divides C or not so in this case the GCD is 2 and C is 3 and we can see that 2 actually do not divide 3 and hence uh, dependency do not exist in this loop and hence this loop is parallelizable so now it's your task to find out uh, to perform a GCD test on this loop uh, and uh, try to see whether this loop is parallelizable or not. Uh, please post your answers through PSL and in case you have any questions uh, on this video uh, you can post your queries through PSL and I will reply then and in the next class uh, we will try to find out uh, exactly for what value of x and y will we try to access the same element of the array. Okay, thank you.